Russian diamonds were in the headlines last month as leaders of the G7 nations met in Hiroshima, Japan to discuss responses to Russia's war in Ukraine, which is now well over a year old. There were two main takeaways from this meeting in Japan. Number one, the UK announced that it would ban Russian diamonds. So the UK already had certain sanctions in place on Alrosa, the largest and most important Russian diamond mining company. And also the UK is quite a small contributor to the global diamond trade. So the UK said that it would now ban all imports of Russian diamonds into the country, and this would go into effect at some point later this year. The second takeaway related to the G7 as a whole. The G7 doesn't have any formal sanctions as a unit on Russian diamonds, although those certain member countries, such as the US, have their own measures in place. And the G7, however, put out a statement at the end of this meeting where their language was significantly stronger than in the past. They said they were going to work to keep Russian diamonds out of the market. So it seems like there could be some stricter rules on Russian diamonds in place at some point in the near future, and also that tracing technology could be at the heart of this. And now we know that provenance and traceability has become increasingly important for the diamond industry. And this is something that really has benefited the big brands. And for example, Richemont, which owns Van Cleef and Arpels and Cartier, announced that its sales in the 12 months ending March the 31st increased 21% year on year. And that reflects great demand for Cartier and those reputed brands. And also at the recent Gem Genève show in Geneva, the reports we received was that sentiment and trading was especially good for those companies with strong and established connections to European luxury brands. Talking of Geneva, the auction season continues and the highlight of the season was the sale of the incredible 11.16 carat pear-shaped fancy vivid blue VS1 Bulgari Laguna blue diamond which sold for 25.2 million dollars at Sotheby's in Geneva. And talking of auctions, we're grateful to Rappaport Auctions for sponsoring this video. Rappaport Auctions is your address for the best cash prices for melee and single stone diamonds. You can find out all about upcoming sales at rappaportauctions.com. Thank you for watching and have a great week.